Hello everybody, Marcel Parthorotta, CCSI 33959, welcomes you to Global Knowledge Training Network videos. In previous video, you learned how to apply passwords on router. Today we are going to learn how to recover the router console in case of forgotten password. Dear friends, I will show you some PPT slides and along with that, for better hands-on practice, I will also demonstrate them you those things on Packet Tracer 5.3. So without any delay, let's get started. Firstly, I will demonstrate those things on the Packet Tracer 5.3. So I'm opening a router console that is of router 1, which is pre-configured with passwords here. When I'm trying to get into the router by pressing enter, it is not letting me to get in without putting the password. So I have to apply some password here. Uh, what was my password? Sorry friends, I have forgotten. Oh my god. Now what will happen? Dear friends, no need to panic. What we can do? We can recover the password. How? Here in Packet Tracer 5.3, we have to go onto the physical tab and we have to reboot our router through this power on off button and on to the real scenario also you can do the same if you have forgotten the password of a real router no need to worry just go to the console of that router to the back panel of that router and you can restart the router through this power on off button when you will restart the router now I have powered it off now I am starting it again on the CLI mode you have to press control break during uh, in the real world scenario you have to press control break within the 0 to 60 seconds of the router reboot it will show you the same prompt as it is appearing here the roman one and on to the roman one what you can do you can give the configuration you can change the configuration register value which is by default 0x2102 of all cisco routers but if you want to skip the copying process of startup configuration onto the running configuration you have to change the configuration register value to 0x2142 as I am saying that 0x2102 is the by default configuration value which allows a router to copy the startup configuration onto the running configuration during the boot up but 0x2142 will skip this process means what it will do if your configuration register value is 0x2142 it will not it will not copy the startup configuration onto the running configuration during the boot up time means it will ignore the nvram contents as simple as that so what you have to do <coughs> After writing this config, you have to put the new configuration register value that is 0x2142 and press enter. And then for restarting the router, you have to give this reset command and press enter. The router is rebooting again, friends. Now let's see whether it will ask me for password or not. Mm. Oh! it is on the setup configuration dialog box let's cancel it by pressing no hmm it is not asking me for any password friends good news now let's enable it and check the show running configuration oh my god I have lost all my configuration where is that configuration friends that is on to the startup check the show check the startup configuration by show start command yes here is your all configuration but friends have you noticed that while I am giving the show startup command all my passwords are on to encrypted mode means every password is showing in encryption why because the service password encryption is enabled now what you can do you can change the passwords but friends before changing the password 
you have to copy your startup configuration to the running configuration otherwise if you will change passwords directly it will only change into the RAM and when you will copy the running configuration onto the startup configuration you will lose all the other configurations likewise the IP configuration the routing protocol configuration because when you copy the running configuration to the startup configuration it basically overrides the configuration overrides the startup configuration so first of all this is recommend to copy the startup configuration to the running configuration fine friends <clears throat> now the startup configuration and running configuration is all, almost same and it's same now you can change your passwords you can't understand the passwords because they are in encrypted form we can see that thing by putting the show run command I can't understand what is this written what is all this written I can't understand so what I have to do I have to reset it how by getting into the configuration mode let the service password encryption be enabled don't disable it so because it's a good practice to be let it to be enabled so I'm going into the onto the configuration mode and putting new passwords first first of all offline console 0 because this is the very first mode which I have to face password Cisco and then login exiting from here line vty024 which means I can uh, this password I'm setting is for five users password again the Cisco and the login keyword exit and then enable password again Cisco I have resetted the new passwords now at the time of reboot what will happen it will at the time of reboot likewise if you have remembered that uh, our configuration register value is currently 0x2142 okay let's source let's see this thing onto the show version yeah it's 0x2142 you know hmm okay so first of all one uh, one more thing what you have to do you have to change this configuration register value but before changing the configuration register value you have to copy your running configuration to the startup configuration why because your running configuration contains the new passwords while the startup configuration contains the old password and if you will change the configuration register value to the 0x2102 and will reload the router then the old passwords will appear again which we don't know so what we can do <coughs> before changing the configuration register value you can you have to copy the latest running configuration onto the oldest startup configuration now it has changed okay now going to the configuration mode give the configure register value to 0x2102 so that your running so that your startup configuration can be reloaded to the running configuration at the time of boot up exiting from here let's see through see the output of show version Hmm, the last line is saying the configuration register value is currently 0x2142 and will be 0x2102 on Rex reload. Means when I will reload the router, it will uh, it will be 0x2102. The configuration register value again will be the normal. So let's reload the router. You are seeing that router is reloading. Hmm, it is showing hash 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 okay let's see yeah it's again asking for the password means your configuration register value is fine and now this time I know the passwords it's Cisco yes it's Cisco and again the password of enable mode and now I'm into the privilege mode let's see show version yeah the configuration register value is also changed and I have the uh, I have changed the passwords also. <coughs>
so friends that is all for today thank you for watching the video hopefully it will be useful and informative for all of you thank you